Well, next weekend, Swiss Lane Farms out in Alto is inviting the public out to their property, all to learn more about the tradition of tapping maple trees. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Our Michael Martin was out there this afternoon for a sneak peek. Well, if you've ever wondered how they make maple syrup, the folks here at Swiss Lane Farms Sugar Shack have been doing it for well over a hundred years. And soon, for one day only, they're inviting the public out here to learn about how it's all done and even make some of their own. But this is where we start it and, and greet with them and tell them a little bit about the history and what we do here. On Thursday, the staff out at Swiss Lane Farms in Alto were preparing for their annual maple syrup festival happening next Saturday, March 13th. My ancestors immigrated here from Switzerland and they started out in the late 1800s and found that they had this amazing 90 acre maple woods in behind their property. Yeah, perfect. For over a hundred years now, the family has tapped their maple trees, collected their sap and boiled it down to pure, delicious maple syrup. It's a tradition they've kept going now for six generations. So we just evaporate all the water out of it, and then it's just maple syrup. So it's such a simple process. And just through the years, we've tried to upgrade and continue investing in it. And so then 2011, we built this addition on and updated our equipment. A process that once required a huge amount of manual labor is now made much more efficient through the use of these tubes. Well, we have about 1,500 taps, and probably more than half of the trees have two taps in them. The lines are a great way for us to not only reduce the labor associated with maple syrup, but actually adds higher quality to the syrup, too. We found that the syrup is cleaner because a lot of debris will get into the buckets. And on March 13th, you can bring your family out to their sugar shack and immerse yourself in the process. When you know all the steps that go into it, you know, and how that impacts our community. I just think it's a really powerful experience for the kids. This is a very unique area that we're in. There's a very um, small portion of the world where you have these sugar maples. Yeah, you don't even need to register for the event. We've got more information about it on our website. For now, though, in Kent County, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. I've never done that before. I was going to say, I wonder if it tastes different if you make it yourself. Not make it yourself, Probably but go get it Probably tastes a million yourself. times better. <laughs>